In this video, I'll provide you 11 useful AIs that would save you time, money, and effort for your business or make your life easier on what you do. The first one is Vowel.com. Now, I've been to several video meetings before with either my clients or office mates, and I always bring a pen and paper with me so I can jot down notes. Although you can record the meeting, you don't have a transcript of the conversation, so it will take time for me to search for it in the video. But if there was an app like that, it would save everyone's time and effort. So I thank the developers who created this. This tool can transcribe live conversation. Let's say someone provided a piece of in important information and that person is not at the meeting. You can tag that transcript and send that information immediately to them. Or how about you remember a piece of uh, specific information but don't remember when that happened. You can actually search for that in the video using keywords. Now this makes life easier. The second one is called rewind.ai. It's similar to Vowel.com, but it will record everything on your PC during that time. Plus, you can search for a specific keyword during that recording. You know what's crazy about this? If the person you're talking to actually shares their screen, let's say they showed a link for that specific website or file, you can click on that link on the video itself and it will bring you to that specific website or file. Isn't that amazing? The third one is Erase.bg. For those who are tired of editing an image to remove the background or don't know how to use Adobe Photoshop, you can use this free simple tool. You just upload an image and it will automatically remove the background for you. Isn't that great? Fourth one is ChatGPTWriter.ai. Probably most of you or some of you already know what ChatGPT is and you want to use it, but you always get an error saying the server is full and you need to create an email fast, you can finally add ChatGPT to your Chrome browser and help you with your email. Let me show you how. First, you just go to the site chatgptwriter.ai and download the Chrome extension. And then, install the ChatGPT Writer extension. Click on the extension icon and a pop-up window will appear. So, if you haven't signed up to ChatGPT, it will ask you to sign up. You just go to chat.openai.com. If you don't know ChatGPT or don't know how to sign up, you can click on the link above this video. Now, if you want to reply using ChatGPT, using your email, just go to your Gmail account and open an email. And then you should see a link or an icon for ChatGPT Writer extension, just click on that and then put in the information you want to reply, a brief information, and then click on Generate Personalized Reply. And then it automatically provides you that reply. And then you just insert that to your Gmail and then hit on Reply. That's simple. Okay, the next one is a boring one. It's called excelformulabot.com especially for those who don't like numbers but for those who need to summarize their sales or get information from the data they already gathered and they don't know how to get that information from their excel sheet this is a must-have you just have to explain it to the ai and it will create a formula for you and just and basically you just add it to your excel sheet the next one is called slidesai.io. This is for those who watched my previous video on how to earn passive income using ChatGPT. This AI will save you time and effort. If you have your text information, you just have to put it in and the AI will automatically create slides for you. Plus, it will even provide you images for that specific information. For the next AI, I don't know what's inside the developer's mind, but, wow, they just compiled several AIs in one site. It's called runwayml.com. There are tons of uh, to choose from here. I'll just show you what they have under the hood. Okay, they have uh, this is called a remove background. They can create portrait. They can create text to image like mid journey. 
they can change the backdrop they can frame the inter uh, they can change the frame or the pr the image in that frame they have tons of ai's that i don't know they just put it in just one one site which is crazy this one is something every business needs to know you want to spy on your competitor browse ai does this it scrapes websites and turns them into excel file you just have to tag the ai's needs and it will automatically do it for you with the data you have you can do you can actually do a lot of things like check out what product they're selling or do the same thing especially for e-commerce or you or you can just copy their strategy okay from all the ai's i provided to use for business okay let's not talk about ethics right now because this one i think is the best one so far it's called spatial.ai every business needs to know who they're selling their products to selling is not only for products but for content creators as well creating a persona is very important for any type of business i'll give you one example of a business that grew in a short amount of time that utilizes the data of their customer and that is facebook i will show you another example which is actually on their youtube channel let's hear it out here are two locations for the same brand before selecting these sites, the real estate team ran a three-mile marker report and they found that the demographics and competitive landscape for these two communities were the same. So they signed leases, investing millions to open up stores at both sites thinking both would be successful. But as it turns out, one location thrived while the other struggled and ultimately failed. Why did that happen? If you look closer, we can see that even though the demographic data says they're the same, these are two very different communities. There are many unique behaviors and experiences in trade areas, and these activities can now be measured with geosocial data. A data set of real experiences, personalities, and mindsets captured through geotagged social media, revealing that the behavioral differences between these communities is the difference between success and failure. This next AI is also similar to spatial.ai. In fact, it provides you aggregated market insights into who's really visiting your location and where they're coming from. It's called placer.ai. Now, don't get me wrong. It sounds like this is a, what you call this, a brick and mortar information, but no. If you look at the website, I already signed in. Let's say you go to Montgomery Place and you open the report. I already opened the report. And you can see the data on that lo specific location. Now, imagine if you're doing marketing and you're doing e-commerce, you can actually target this people who actually go to that location. As long as you know who your target is or who your uh, demographics or uh, persona is then it really helps you pinpoint that person and sell that person what you need to sell this last AI is my favorite behuman.ai now this is something let's say you have an e-commerce business or actually this can apply to any type of business you want to personally thank the customer for buying from you or asking the customer if they are still interested on the item they left in their cart. You can actually record one video for that specific situation and personalize it for thousands of recipients and deliver it in over any channel instantly. Let me show you how. Be Human is a unique AI that clones your face and voice and then generates thousands of video messages for you. There are just two simple steps. First, record a template video. Be Human then creates hyper-personalized videos that look and feel completely real, so you can communicate at scale. Now send video messages wherever your customers are. Email, SMS, LinkedIn, social media, and more. Connect with clients in a human way they're going to actually care about. Now, can you imagine that? I'll show you an example here, okay? Okay, 
I'm on their sample site. I click on city, this load up. Now, I chose John here for the example and $3,000. I don't know what this is, but this is crazy. Try to listen to this. Hi, John. My name is Lucy here at your local city bank branch. Okay. If you try to remember what that, that girl said, it, she said John, right? All the body language, all the same. But if I change the name to Michael and then play it again. Hi, Michael. My name is Lucy here at your local city bank branch. It's the same person, but saying the same, same body movement, same everything, except that the name, the name that they said is a different name. That's why this is one of my favorites. Hope that this AI tools that I provided is helpful. If you want to know more about AI, please click on the video that appears on the screen. Thank you for watching.